Hey guys, my name is Amon. Welcome back. This week, I'm creating a water ripple effect. Let's get started. Open After Effects and load an image. From there, click on New Comp and hit OK. Drag and drop your image into the comp. Once you're happy with the layout, right click on this and select Pre Comp. Click on Move All Attributes into New Comp and hit OK. This will crop your full size design accordingly. From here, right click and select New Solid and choose a light grey colour and hit OK. Move it above the image and in the effects and presets panel type wave world and drag and drop this onto the solid. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. In the effects control panel change the view to height map, open simulation and change the reflect edge to all. Open producer 1 and change frequency to 1 and hit and click on the stopwatch to insert a keyframe. Then zoom into the timeline and move the playhead to half a second in and change the frequency to zero. From here, click on the stopwatch for the amplitude and we're gonna leave it here at 0.5. Move to a second in on the timeline and change the amplitude to zero. Finally, move the solid below the image. Then go back to the effects and presets panel and type cox co co ticks. Sorry, I don't I can't pronounce that. Cox ticks. And drag and drop this onto the pre-comp image layer. Under water, change the drop down from none to the solid grey layer and the source to effects and masks. You can now already, if you hit play, you can now already see the effect starting. I'm going to trim my clip to seven seconds by placing the inner out points in, right clicking on this and clicking on trim comp to work area. Move the playhead to one second in and change the wave height to 0.3 and hit the stopwatch button. Change the smoothing to 10 and hit the stopwatch button. Next, change the surface opacity. This is how much of the blue color on the above you want to come through to 0.3 and hit the stopwatch button. Again, move down to lighting and change the intensity to 0.5 and change the position from center, like here, to just off to bring in some shadows. I'm going to change it to 17 thousand by 250. Lastly, open materials and change the specular reflection to 0.2. We need to make the ripple effect stop at the end. So move the playhead to the end and change wave height to 0.02, smoothening to 20, surface opacity to 0.1, specular reflection to zero. Now as water isn't so perfect, we'll need to add some turbulence. Back in the effects and presets panel, type turbulent noise and drag and drop this onto the solid layer. Make sure the playhead is now at the beginning of the timeline. It'll start to look like a painting, but stick with me. In, in the effects and chrome panel, change the turbulent noise fractal type to swirly and noise type to soft linear. Contrast to around 80 and open transform and change the scale to around 220 and change complexity to two. Click on the stopwatch button for the evolution. Change opacity to 10. No wait, 15 is better. Now move to the end of the timeline and change the evolution to five. Not degrees, which is what I did in the first place. Finally, change the opacity to zero and you're done. Now that you have this template in place, all you need to do is change the background. And you can do this easily by opening the pre-comp and changing the image to anything you'd like. You can even insert your logo and scale and move it into position, like here. If you'd prefer your logo to be above the ripple effect, go back into the original comp and place the logo above everything, meaning the effect will happen underneath the logo. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for everything guys. As always, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next week.